Hello, I'm Sergeant First Class Patricia Morgan, bassoonist with U.S. Army Band Pershing's Own. Today I'll be discussing Wisenborn's Advanced Study Number 4 as you would prepare it for an all-state audition. First I'll perform it for you and then we'll discuss a few key topics. Okay, so this etude is really lovely. It's a lot of fun to play it. It's nice and lyrical and really gives your musicality a chance to shine. But uh, first of all, uh, when you're practicing it, check, uh, check your uh, intonation on your first interval. Make sure your B natural isn't too flat. And really sing through the B natural because it's the first beat uh, of the bar and you want to make the D sound like a pickup going to the B. Um, smoothness of air and fingers is really important in this selection. You want to show off your musicality, so really use your best sound and fill the intervals with air to give them direction. It's really important to support in the upper register, especially when you're playing repeated passages at different dynamics. And uh, also find places to move within this selection. It's marked Andante Sostenuto, but there's opportunity to move through the phrases to really savor certain notes that are uh, marked with the um, uh, pause over them, or um, if they're marked uh, to be longer than a quarter note. There's a lot of tied um, notes at the ends of phrases. So we really want to enjoy those opportunities um, to add length and really phrase. Um, let's see, in bar 21, you've got a passage of eighth notes that's just kind of uh, moving through and bringing you back to the original theme again. So I think that's an opportunity where you can shape and move through the pattern. <laughs> personality it will really sh um, show off your control uh, to an audition panel uh, and I think those are my top suggestions for this piece definitely make sure to uh, practice it from top to bottom as well to get a feel for what it would be like to perform it uh, and record yourself can't uh, stress that enough it's really important so that you hear what you're doing um, uh, on, on the outside. It, sometimes we can be distracted as bassoon players and how things feel and they might sound completely different to uh, a listener seated um, close, uh, maybe uh, five feet away or ten feet away or if you're in a bigger space 
um, try different spaces uh, recording yourself as well. All right, so uh, I hope you enjoy working on this etude and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.